All right, so here is the car right here, black in color. Now, I know there's a ton of Honda Civic 2017 videos on YouTube.com, but there's none like this because, hey, you got Chad on camera talking about it. So I'm no expert on the vehicles like you guys over at Motor Trend and Car and Driver and all that. But what I can do for you while you're watching with me right now is I can show you this car the way we're seeing it right now as if you just walked on the lot yourself to go car shopping. So let's get started. Let's have a look. First off, the front end. Look at that. Aggressive. Yes, it says mean. It says, ooh, ah. This is a car that wants to be driven. That's right. And Honda's done a great job of adding turbo technology into their vehicles over the last year or so. So let's just keep moving forward. So, you know, back in the day when we used to hook up cars, we used to take a little bit of vinyl and put it right up here on the headlights and kind of trim it nicely and give that headlight an eyebrow, right? If you remember back in the day, and maybe some people still do that. Well, look at this. I'm just pointing this out to you right now. Honda has kind of pretty much given an eyebrow. Look how this kind of cuts in and rolls right up to the fender. I mean, you wonder, you say, you know, that it's not part of the hood or anything like that. That's telling me Honda's adding an eyebrow in on the headlight to give it a little more distinctive look. And then moving right down, the fog lights look good, the grill's looking good, and I really like the black and how they really haven't just thrown a bunch of chrome on here, okay? So that's looking really good. Now, you can see we got a bunch of Civics right over there, and, uh, and some of them do have some chrome on the front. So maybe just depending on the color of the car, it may have a little more chrome than others. But black works out great just like this, as you can see. Very nice. Wow. You know, black cars always look good, but you got to keep them clean. Okay? Let's take a look at the wheels. Now, you do got Continental tires on this particular car, but look at that rim right there. You know, Honda's done a great job of, of working with alloy wheels, okay? They, uh, they got their own kind of style to them. They kind of look like they're in motion when they're just sitting here like this. So, uh, that's a 17-inch rim, so no more 15-inch small little rims on Hondas anymore. They bumped it up to a 17 on this particular car. You got a nice little blinker right here in the bumper, and then right here on your, uh, on your mirror, you will notice something new. You got a camera right there. So when you're driving and you put the blinker on to get over into the right-hand lane, you can see everything going on over here when you're trying to get over, which I thought was a great feature and I really enjoyed it when driving this car over the last day or so. Also, tinted windows, we've added that on at Stokes Honda. We got a tent guy here that does it on all our vehicles for us. Some have tent windows, some don't. Now look at the rear end. Again, this is a hatchback vehicle, right? That's right, a four-door hatchback. So, you got a nice looking kind of spoiler effect here. You got a shark fin up there, and then it just rolls right down. And then that window kind of still keeps rolling through right there. Third brake light. Tail lights look good. I mean, look how they kind of wrap around like that. Very nice. And you know, the rear end is very similar to the front end. I mean, check that out. We just saw this same kind of grill effect on the front. So they've added that on the rear as well. So that's nice. I like it. That's one thing, you know, you can't have a party in the front and not have a party in the back. Honda's got it going on on the front and the back. So the stance is nice, sits off, off the ground pretty good, okay? Not too low, not too high. I know a lot of y'all guys out there, you're going to put some suspension on here and lower it down, which, hey, always looks even better when you drop it down. It makes it drive a little better going around corners and things like that. Now, we talked about chrome a minute ago. You will see some chrome just kind of wrapping up over the window sills, okay, which looks fine. It's not too much, like I said earlier. And the wheelbase is pretty long, okay? The Civic has grown over the years. It's getting bigger. But one positive thing I can tell you about a longer wheelbase, if you've ever ridden in a limousine before, the ride quality. Okay, you don't feel as many bumps on the road. So that longer wheelbase will make the ride quality better. So that's always a plus. Now let's get ready to move in and take a look at the interior. See what we got going on in there. Now before we get in, I wanted to point something out to you. You can notice here there's a little button there. You know, this car has a smart key. So if it's in your pocket or purse, you don't have to hit the button or anything. You just walk up, boom. Don't even touch that or touch that and the car opens right up. You know, if you didn't know, this car has a 1.5 liter dual overhead cam, 16 valve under the hood over there with 174 horsepower. And yes, it is a... a turbocharged engine that's right and uh, it gets 40 miles per gallon on the highway 
31, the city for average combined of 34. And good safety ratings. So the interior, you know, one thing I like about the EX, you're getting that nice, good looking sunroof up there. The seats look good. Take a look at your seats. They got nice stitching in there. You know, Honda and the Japanese folks are always good about putting patterns and different things inside the cars. They just make it stand out a little bit more from the competition. And then really where your wow effect, uh, wow factor is gonna happen is when we sit inside the car here in just a minute. Um, on the door panel here, also looking good. Fit and finish is great. You got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Okay, you got tons of little cubby hole spots to throw a bottle of water. You know, even that's a little spot to throw something in right there. All right, let's uh, get in on the inside and have a look around.